practice. My grandma didn't have a lot of cash. This was one of the meals that she would make. Now, I'll give you a hint. Back in the cafeteria days, this is one of the things that they put the mystery beat in. Let me just say that. And all we're trying to do is brown the meat. I drained all the grease out for this dish because that's what my grandma did. We're done browning our meat. Now we're going to add some bell pepper into my It's going to cook this down for about three to five minutes. If you want, you can season this part with a little seasoning salt. And a little pepper. I got to have garlic in most of my meals, so we're going to add a little garlic paste. We got it how we want it. Now we're about to get feist. I got one of them big cans of diced tomato. When it starts to bubble up after about five to 10 minutes, we're gonna add our tomato sauce. And I'm gonna backdoor this with one can of tomato paste. We're gonna season it again. Let's add some garlic powder. And we're backdooring it with more chicken bouillon. I know you in the comments right now because you see what's in my hand. You gotta add just a pinch of brown sugar. You have to. Now you see where we're going with this. We're gonna add our macaroni noodles to the pot. Something. What you wanna do is toss these macaroni noodles in the mixture. One little detail is why grandma's is different from everybody else's. 